Despite the fact that his car tilts due to the accident, Dr. Egon exits his vehicle. He was on his way to his home, but Dr. Egon had set up many traps along the road. The ghost capture machine is turned on by Dr. Egon, however it is broken, and Dr. Egon has another machine. The machine informs you that there are ghosts in the area, in the meantime, a strange apparition emerges from the smoke, while ending Dr. Egon, the ghost power returns to the mines, the scene moves to Chicago, where we see Dr. Egon's daughter Callie. Trevor and Phoebe, her two children, reside with her, the house's owner enters and demands rent from Callie, Callie informs the proprietor that her father died only a few days ago, their financial situation is dire, Callie is ignored by the owner, he tells them to get out of the home, Callie later moves to her father's house with her children. In the present, her father passed away, this is something Callie tells her children. Trevor and Phoebe are taken aback when they see strange items around the house, Callie arrives to the door, but she is missing the keys. Phoebe is asked to open the door by Callie, Phoebe is an expert at this and can easily open the door, they enter the house and observe the activities of the family, while the house begins to shake. There was also an earthquake, they take shelter behind a table, Callie asks her children to put up with the strange things in the house. Because they don't have another place to live, Phoebe discovers the ghost-catching gadget beneath the chair, she takes it up, and an old acquaintance of Dr. Egon's appears. She was the Ghostbuster team's helper, they walk into a cafe, where Trevor notices a girl, and she informs them they have nothing but this house in the will. The young lady worked at a cafe, Trevor is taken with the girl and begins working in the cafe, Callie informs Phoebe that they must now live here and that she should find some new pals, Phoebe's room's meter comes on at night, the light comes on, and the chest set beside the window falls down as well, Phoebe was experiencing an odd sensation. She repositions the chest on the table after adjusting it, Trevor also goes outside to inspect the situation, in the garage, he discovers the Ghostbusters old car, Phoebe observes that the chess piece has already been played, Phoebe notices that there is someone else in the home besides them, Phoebe walks out of the room while playing chess, and later she is seen in the school. When Callie sees her teacher at school, she asks her to look after Phoebe. When Callie goes to the market to get some painting supplies, the market owner informs her about her father. He tells Callie that her father was weird and spent his time at his farmhouse conducting experiments. Phoebe befriends a boy who enjoys recording unusual events. There was another earthquake, but Phoebe notices that no one is affected. Phoebe's teacher informs her that earthquakes are common and that he is researching them as well. Phoebe's buddy invites her out after school, telling her that the site is incredible and taking her to the old mines. He informs Phoebe that many people have previously worked here, however, they begin to go missing gradually, and Phoebe eventually returns home. She observes chess is playing automatically and realizes something is wrong, the meter is turned on, and the lights are turned on as well. The meter leads Phoebe to her grandfather's chair and leads her to a location, she discovers an underground passageway. Dr. Egon's trap machine is brought to the school by Phoebe, Phoebe's teacher informs him that this is a real ghost trap machine, and she is questioned about it, Phoebe informs her teacher that these items belong to her grandfather, her teacher also plays a video for her. He claims that a Ghostbusters crew existed many years ago. This device is owned by the Ghostbusters, they try to access the machine after Phoebe realizes her grandfather was a Ghostbusters. When the machine opens, a massive ghost emerges from it. The Phantom enters the mine, Phoebe's teacher comes to her house to look at the old items. A whistle is discovered by Phoebe's friend, and their teacher informs them that it is a death whistle. While playing, the bad spirit can be sent back. They also discover the ghost that was released by the trap in Dr. Egon's book. Trevor and the girl are seen with their friends headed to the mines. When they arrive, they are attacked by spirits. The earth begins to tremble, and they flee in terror. While following the meter, Phoebe arrives at Dr. Egon's lab on the opposite side. Phoebe discovers a number of Dr. Egon's other machines. Those machines made sense to Phoebe. Phoebe was an expert at this. Phoebe is now interested in learning more about her granddad. Phoebe tries to keep the ghost at bay, they made a mistake and leaked it, Phoebe uses machines and her companions to try to catch the ghost. The ghost who consumes iron is irritated by her and walks towards the city, on the other side, Trevor is displayed, who has fixed the car after a lot of hard effort, in that car, he goes on a drive, on the way, he meets Phoebe and her buddy and explains everything to them. While sitting in Dr. Egon's car, 
Phoebe discovers a slew of other gadgets, they travel to the city in order to apprehend the ghost, they apprehend the iron-eating ghost, however, in taking the city, they have made the situation worse. As a result, the cops detain them. Instead of phoning her mother, Phoebe dials the number of Dr. Egon's buddy, she informs him of the death of Dr. Egon. When the Ghostbusters team was split up, he told Phoebe that Dr. Egon was dead, the time had come to an end, and the cops had taken Phoebe's phone. Meanwhile, Callie, accompanied by Phoebe's teacher, arrives to free them. Dr. Egon's car and belongings are kept by the cops. On the way, he meets Phoebe and her buddy and explains everything to them. While sitting in Dr. Egon's car, Phoebe discovers a slew of other gadgets, they travel to the city in order to apprehend the ghost, they apprehend the iron-eating ghost. However, in taking the city, they have made the situation worse, as a result, the cops detain them, instead of phoning her mother, Phoebe dials the number of Dr. Egon's buddy, she informs him of the death of Dr. Egon. When the Ghostbusters team was split up, he told Phoebe that Dr. Egon was dead, the time had come to an end, and the cops had taken Phoebe's phone, meanwhile, Callie, accompanied by Phoebe's teacher, arrives to free them. Dr. Egon's car and belongings are kept by the cops, they note that the nearby date on the wall is 2021, implying that something will happen this year. He resurrects the old guy who was imprisoned in the casket, when the kids see him, they are afraid, but Phoebe thinks that her grandfather is alright, she makes the decision to tell her mother about it, while following the meter, Callie arrives at her father's laboratory, she discovers a lot of photos of herself there. Callie understands that her father is far away from her, yet he adores her, meanwhile, Callie is attacked by a ghost, Dr. Egon's life was cut short by this ghost creature, Callie is now under the grip of the spirit, when they return home, they are alarmed to observe Callie's condition, on the other hand, the city begins to shake once more. Because the ghost has Phoebe's teacher under his spell, while employing the ghost machines, Phoebe's teacher was destroying the city, Callie is taken to the mines by the ghost who was controlling her, the youngsters arrive to the police station dressed as Ghostbusters. They get their machines back after breaking the jail with the help of the ghost that eats iron, while transporting these machines to the mines, they realize that the ghost controlled Callie and Phoebe's teacher is none other than the mines protecting ghost. Gozer, the goddess of those bizarre creatures, enters as well, Phoebe tries to divert the goddess's attention, the other ghosts are attacked by Phoebe's pals, the spirit emerges from Callie's body and carries them away while fleeing, the ghost was still under the power of Phoebe's teacher, while chasing them, Phoebe's instructor and goddess arrive at their home. In front of the goddess Gozer, Phoebe's machine was losing, the ancient Ghostbusters crew arrives to save them, they were the individuals who collaborated with Dr. Egon, they were the paranormal investigators known as the Ghostbusters. However, they are unable to overcome Phoebe, and Dr. Egon arrives to assist Phoebe, they go after Gozer, when they attack Gozer as a group, they are successful, the marshmallow monsters are also put to an end by Phoebe's pal. Meanwhile, Trevor has an idea and uses his gun to reactivate the machine, as a result, the field's traps are activated once more, Callie activates the switch, trapping the ghosts and Gozer in the machine, Dr. Egon's buddy apologizes.